one area that given is james chapter 3 14 to 16 you would have studied that also it describes about one wisdom wisdom from below the characteristics of that wisdom are mentioned there what are they in that sheet of paper also it is given but if you have bitter envy and strife in your hearts glory not and lie not against the truth this wisdom is not not from above but is earthly sensual devilish for where envy and strife is there is confusion and every evil work yes so the that wisdom and its characteristics nature is described it creates selfish ambition bitter envy boasting lying it's from the world devilish then it creates all kinds of conflict and evil practices then the spirit of god writes about the next 17th verse but the wisdom that is from above is first pure then peaceable gentle and easy to be entreated full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy its nature also is mentioned very clear knowledge and wisdom are they the same or different what is the difference you notice wisdom is from above knowledge is worldly wisdom is from above knowledge is worldly you said wisdom is from above but you now just read two kinds of wisdom wisdom from below also you read wisdom is the ability to use the knowledge knowledge is what you acquire wisdom is the ability to use the knowledge now in our working place in our living place always we are applying whatever we have learned is it if it is cooking it is cooking speaking anything what kind of wisdom is seen in the living and working place you can notice both side look at that is written there which wisdom is seen in the practical living are there what kind of wisdom you are you understanding what it is which kind of wisdom is seen one person others wisdom from below sometimes can you read that chapter 10 to 12 Why it is mentioned earlier? It's talking about the dung. It's talking about the dung. All these four combinations can they exist together? Fresh water and salt water from the same spring, no. grape and no. Why is it mentioned? 
Then comes the fifth, two kinds of wisdom. Can they be mixed? No, I, I didn't mean about mixing. What I meant is when we depend on when the parent. Can it be in the same person, same time? At the same time, no. Then what are you telling? What I meant is, it has been my experience that if I'm depending on the Lord and I'm relying on Him and I'm, it, I'm, I mean, I'm strong in my relationship with the Lord, the wisdom I use and the intellect I use is not my If. Mind. If. Is it your experience or is it possibility? It is my experience that... Then, how does the other wisdom also come? The other wisdom comes when I'm not depending on the Lord and it is my whatever I've been grown up with, what the world tells me. Can both exist like that? Sometimes you pray, and then time, sometimes you curse. It is happening. That's why we are doubting. <laughs> hmm? See, you can look at it in different way, but I'm putting an example. On a mango tree, you see a lot of coconuts hanging. What's your conclusion? Something is wrong. No. Eh? It is. Eh? <laughs> Somebody has tied it up there. Can you tie it up? On Christmas tree, lot of gifts are hanging, no? Is it growing in the tree? It's tied up there tied up. Can certain thing be tied up? If the same person, he praises and then after some time he curses, which is original? <laughs> what is tied up? Can you tie it up, praise for some time? Yes. Speak nicely for some time, but the original will come out. Hmm? So, by that you cannot decide. That's why the Lord said, a tree is known by its fruit. A prophet is known by his life. He doesn't look at the gifts. Gifts. Look at again. Can you read from First Corinthians chapter one, verse seven? So that we are not lacking in any gift awaiting the revelation of our Lord Jesus. Corinthian church did not lack any gift. You are not lacking in any gift. Third chapter, verse one to three. Brothers and sisters, I could not address you as Yes. Paul says that in spite of the all the gifts that you are operating, I am not able to call you spiritual but carnal. So, spirituality is not decided by the gifts you have. Gifts you have. It can be attached. So, <laughs> Generally, it's not general. What wisdom is seen in our parliament? In our parliament, what wisdom is seen? From above or below? <laughs> Underworld, he says. <laughs> okay, bureaucrats? Generally? Yes. In medical profession? World. World. Engineering profession? 
what among the pastors? Eh? 50-50. It cannot be mixed reason. <laughs> Even after studying theology, two are not able to work together. Okay, what wisdom is seen at home? Why the other wisdom is not appearing there? It is a fear of uh, losing job or uh, if you use uh, Do you mean to say the whole world is filled with that? Then? Yeah. Your oh. home. Shall we read one verse from 1st John 5, 19? We know that we are from God and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. Whole world lies under the? Power of the evil one. Oh. So you are right. <laughs> now, one question is, you have spent a lot of time in learning. How many years it will take to become a postgraduate? 21 years. Okay. Knowledge acquiring 21 years. Then this knowledge is submitted to whom? Demonic. It said about worldly knowledge, demonic. Is it surrendered to God or to another power? Or it's not surrendered? Oh. Why? Why knowledge becomes wrong wisdom? Any idea why knowledge becomes wrong wisdom? Lordship. Lordship. What is the first reference of knowledge in the Bible? Fruit on the tree. Why did they acquire that knowledge? <coughs> No, for one clear purpose, to be like God. Knowledge of good and evil for to be like God. How will knowledge help them to be like God? If you know good and evil, what's the one thing you can do immediately? I will decide I will not let God decide. Pardon? I will decide. Ah. Okay, I can decide, she says. So, man wanted the decision making. You don't make decision for me. I will make my own decision. Created being tells the creator, I will decide. Okay. If you have decision making, what will you get? Power. Control. If you have both, you will get what? Eh? No, that is... No, you can do whatever you want. What do you call that? Freedom. So, what is the claim of man? His main war cry. My 
right for myself four things are involved mainly if you look at to be like god means i want to decide i want to have control i want to have freedom and i want my right if i put it in a different way to understand it use another borrow an expression what does it look like ladder there is a invisible ladder in the society social ladder everyone wants to climb the ladder become what to become what no no other words that are used eh what is that position called success okay number 1 in a company it is called ceo ceo otherwise managing their md in a college dean or principal in church in military at home five You're not very. <laughs> so, in Bible, who is the one who started climbing the ladder? Attempted to climb the ladder first. No. Lucifer. Lucifer. What did the Lord do to him? Cast him down. There is a rule kept in the kingdom now. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled. Humbled. Anyone who attempted to climb down the ladder or actually climb down the ladder in the bible Jesus Christ oh he became a man to the point of death on the cross became a slave what does bible tell about this next person can you read philippians chapter 2 verse 5 same mind as jesus christ had and then he describes about this coming down can you read that then god lifted him up and gave him a name above all names what's the other rule anyone who humbles himself will be exalted which is the position we want a or b we are all struggling for what A. Why we are afraid of B? Why we are afraid of taking the position in B? Because we are still guided by the world. 
No, no. What will we lose? Decision making, power, freedom, my right. So, to have the mind of Christ, do we want it or do we don't want it? Of the two, which is usually considered as a blessing, A or B? Oh, by you what it is? <laughs> Which is considered as blessing, A or B? Read from your translation, 1 John 2, 15 and 16. 1 John 2, 16. Please. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. Another translation. Boasting of what we do and have is not coming from the Father but from the world. But when we boast it, we consider it as a blessing. How come? If it is not from the Father, how can you say it is a blessing from God? Pride of life is the other word. Boasting in what you do and what you have. Achievements, so-called success. What is the way to climb the ladder today? Pardon? Now, what is the way, means of climbing the ladder? What is the main thing that you need to climb the ladder today? More knowledge. Same thing. So, what is the motive of knowledge gain today? Yes. See, the original problem has it changed? The motive of knowledge came. What happened to the motive when it became wrong motive? Man came under Satan. <coughs> Ephesians 2. 2 and 3, you will read that later. He came under Satan. So, making a statement now, if the motive of knowledge gain is wrong, you will have wrong wisdom. If the motive of knowledge gain is wrong, you will have wrong wisdom. If the motive of knowledge gain is wrong, if it is for climbing the ladder, definitely the wisdom will be wrong. If the motive is different, to have the mind of Christ, 
it will not become a dangerous star. Now, what is the motive of knowledge gain now? Yes. Suppose if you, in the corporate world, if you do some exams or something you do which will benefit your career, so that kind of knowledge that you gain, the motive is for doing good only for your career. The motive is for improving. Career means upward or downward? No, is is the career upward or downward? Career is upward. <laughs> so nowadays, if you don't uh, have that aspiration to climb, that they will put you out. Yes, so the Lord said the world will throw you out, throw you out. if you follow me. If you want to remain there only, you don't have that ambition. No, if you want to follow me, the world will throw you out. He said. If you don't want to be thrown out, join the crowd. <laughs> yes. But he expects you to excel in what you do, right? So whether it is a secular job or so. Excel in the kingdom way, not in the worldly way. Yeah, but yes. So if you need to do your job better and if you need better to do in the kingdom way, not in the worldly way. Both are different. The best in the world is not the best in the kingdom. You have to distinguish. Best in the world is cut your throat and climb up. It's not in the kingdom. That's the problem. We use the same word, borrow it and apply another meaning. It's the same word. No, no, no. How do you climb the ladder in the world? Pulling out the heads down. If that is not the way. That is What's the other way? <laughs> if you excel, what then? Another person is there to throw you out. Then it's up to God to, uh, to bless. Then uh, bless to what? To <laughs> <laughs> we have our meaning of blessing, brother. That's the problem. All this is corrupted now. All these words are corrupted. We borrow these words and use it. Blessing has another meaning. Success has another meaning. It's so intermingled, we are unable to detect it. The best. You have to sit down and look at what is best in the kingdom is not the best of the world. So, can you read what we read in the morning? First Corinthians chapter 1, 26 to 29. Brothers, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards, not many were influential, not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things, and the things that are not, to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. God's choice is different. He is unable to choose from the other. Because they are not teachable. They are not teachable. Very, very, very few. In Indian context, outside it's maybe same. Most of the conversions that are happening in India, 60 to 70 percent are among the tribals. It's not from the educated group. You know that? Not from the educated group. If one IAS officer becomes a Christian, it's a great news in India. If a coolie worker becomes a Christian, it's not a news, it's a common thing. From a medical college, if a doctor becomes and follows law, the Lord or goes for missions, it's a big news. Engineer, 
It's the same today also. Why is it so? Think about it. Why it is becoming difficult? Why the Western world has rejected Christ? Most advanced learning. Most advanced learning. Why they have all rejected? Generally, not all of them. Why is it so? You have been traveling there frequently. What do you see? Where the members in the church are few. Where the churches are sold out. What did education do? Is doing. Same trend is coming into our place also. It has already come. So, the question we are raising is, what is the motive of knowledge gain even today? <coughs> is that motive, is it changing? Purpose, purpose of knowledge gain. If it is not changing, what is going to happen is that itself will trap you into the world and worldly system and you will have desire about walking with God but will not be able to. You will get entangled in the world. You will get entangled in the world. Meanwhile, there are many, not many, at least few, who have walked out of this trap also. They have surrendered their knowledge to God. In a different way they have surrendered. And they are also working, they are doing. But the work can dif is entirely different. Entirely different. Are we making their own money uh, when they have walked out of the worldly systems? Pardon? When you said few people have walked out, surrendering their knowledge. So, uh, are they doing some work to survive or how is it? Uh, because every work what? in the world is out of the wisdom of the world. So, if they have to work, are they on their own? They are doing something uh, just to understand. Yes, some of them whom I know, they are working on small yeah. things, small things, small things, not very elaborate things. Some groups are also there. Some have become fed up with this system. Fed up. At the top of the ladder, they are fed up and have moved to a very different kind of lifestyle. That's another question. Exaltation in the kingdom is not in the worldly way, worldly concept. It's not a higher position. It is, exaltation is not excluding Christ, is in Christ. <clears throat> What's the greatest exaltation? To be transformed in the image of Jesus Christ. To be transformed into the image. That is the exaltation. It's not the position we consider here. It's always wrongly interpreted. If I humble, God will exalt me here on earth. So, if I had to be transformed, my corrupt nature has to be brought down or removed. That's why humility, to the point of death, to the point of death on the cross. It's no more I, but Christ. 
When that happens, the transformation happens. That's the exaltation. Is it possible to be in a secure job uh, and you know still pursue the knowledge of God? Don't differentiate secular for a Christian. If he's if you are saying if he is working, can he still follow God? As per the definition that we set out today. If it is not possible, God would have not called us to follow him. It may be difficult. If it is not possible, he would have not called us. So, but then again, my mind will, like for he brought this point of where he might have to do certification or whatever. Uh, that is necessary. That doesn't have any relevance uh, to the kingdom of God per se. Uh, but you still need to do that. I mean, uh, if you want to grow in the company or, or in that field that you are in, I mean, it is, it's like you're studying, right? Like you have to finish first year, go to second and do twelfth, whatever, and then you pursue education. It's the same thing even in the work life, right? Uh, just, there are something that you have to learn as you go up. So, uh, but that has no, even, even in studies, it's not like, you know, it's directly linked to any knowledge related to God in any way. So, uh, how do you... So that is why, each one of you, when you listen to this difficulty, you have to wait on God, surrender your life and ask, Lord, what do you want me to do with this life? How should I move? You need to get guidance from Him. Then you need to look at many issues in life before God. We ask a question, immediately if I give an answer, it will not fit with your whole background. You need to apply it to your life. Now I suggested this, this is the Bible teaching. There is an issue there, how are you going to apply it? Now look at one more issue when we take a break. First, uh, the book of James, chapter 5, chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Third verse also. When you ask, you do not receive, because you ask the wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. Another translation, you can read the, another translation. From whence come wars and fights among you? Come they not hence even of your lusts that war in your members? Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet not have, because you ask not. You ask and receive not, because you ask amiss, and you may consume it. Okay. How many people are trying to climb this ladder around you? Only one? One person only? <laughs> what will happen now? Where do fightings and quarrel come among you? Hmm? Because everybody wants to? Climb. What's the result? Fightings and quarrels and killing and... What's the plan of evil one? Steal, kill and destroy. Steal, kill and destroy. Prayer is there. What's the purpose of prayer there? Lord give me A or B. You ask amiss, you ask with the wrong motive to spend it in your lust means fulfill your lust. And God doesn't answer it. God doesn't answer. Well, how much crowd is here in this side? B. How many are there? Few. 
no quarrel no fighting <laughs> no quarrel no fighting by nobody is coming there <laughs> in kerala in kerala in our place for a distance of i think it is 12 kilometers there are 24 mission hospitals doctors are standing in queue to treat people <laughs> the poor and needy are coming from the middle east <laughs> i have requested some of them at least why don't you come to some other places and work no the poor will suffer there Twenty-four. Why there is such a competition? Hmm? The poor are there. <laughs> so, ah, uh, is it not ministry? Yes. Okay. The motive of prayer is wrong because of the deep hidden agenda. Deep hidden agenda. Now, why did we learn this? Not for some more information. How will you take it into life? How are you going to? What are you going to confess before God? What are you going to pray? Confessing and prayer. What is, if confession will lead to repentance, where will you repent? If repentance will lead to restitution, what right thing you are going to make? Think about it. And also, for the next generation, what are you trying to communicate? your own children hmm my dad has this i have a sister generally she teaches the kids to be competitive when in that competition that we train them we want them to uh, get the first one the same thing when they grow up also they want to uh, to be the first is that a way of climbing the ladder or is it okay to Train the kids like that. <laughs> you settle the matter. <laughs> you have to do some homework. Sit with God. Ask. Clarify. We will come to it slowly. We will come to it. What we will understand step by step will come. We are reviewing our learning. Shall we take a break now for tea? And meet here at five thirty again. Shall we be silent for a minute?